They compare it to Ghostbusters, but I compare it to Scooby Doo for my for adults. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Okay, we're back. Okay, phenomena so, do 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 do. Phenomena yeah. do 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 do. Let's watch the clip. Cuando se investigan fenómenos paranormales, lo primero que hay que hacer es descartar precisamente los fenómenos normales. Hay para qué está aquí. Joder. Venga, fenómenos, vamos. Cuando nos mudamos, empezamos a escuchar ruidos extraños. Todo se puede explicar, sí, ¿vale? Pues sí, 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 señora de los tuyos, pero... Lo que pasa aquí no, no, no es normal. No se preocupen que vamos a descubrir lo que pasa aquí. ¿Esto es seguro? Si se hace con conocimiento, sí. Dime quién eres. ¡Hacerte mal, por favor! He, he sido yo. ¡Ay, mi cámara! Esto no es cosa de vivos. Que no son necesarias las máquinas para saber que aquí ocurre algo. Pues es algo muy gordo. Hay cosas que suceden en la vida que no tienen una explicación sobrenatural. ¿No has escuchado lo que ocurre aquí, por favor? ¡Cuidado! Ha sido la noche más alucinante de toda mi vida, señoras. Chaval, chaval. En serio, sois la hostia. Sí, eso sí somos. This is a, um, an Argentine supernatural thriller on the face of it. And that's why and I was watching. I watched it because uh, the reason I wanted to see it because Belén Rueda was in it and she played the wife in Septimo, the movie that we reviewed. Patty picked session. up on that. We, she yeah. was like, you know who that, I know that girl. And she, and she, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, Patty probably knows her from the, from the horror movies that she did too. No, she knew her that from the Septimo movie. Yeah, well, that's because we, we all saw that recently. We just saw her recently. And I, and I, and I just think she's wonderful. I didn't wonderful. pick up on it at all. I think, she she's, I think she's wonderful. And what surprised me is like, not long into it, I was laughing out loud at this movie. And I mean, for all the right reasons, I, this is a really funny movie. And it's they they say it's based on it's based on actual characters who I yes. think I yes. believe yes. we see at the end of the yes. movie. Mm -hmm. it's the One of whom had passed away, right. and, and the movie is dedicated to her. But these three actresses are it was like watching three giants at work. The, every one of them had their moment. They were all equally great. They they're ju there's just like one moment after another. And there were things in it that uh, on the scare side that made me go whoa. <laughs> I just, I just not, did not see stuff coming. I mean, it was really, it, you, know, you just think it's going to be this one kind of movie and then it's just, it's a riotous comedy and it still manages to keep the scare, the, the horror scares in it too. Mm -hmm. It's just so well done. I looked up the director whose name I think is, is Carlos Theron. Theron, yeah. Who's, done, who's primarily done a lot of uh, TV work. He, uh, uh, there, I think there's another movie he directed that uses the other, Two actresses uh, who are Tony Acosta and Grace Oleo, I think is yes, her name. Very good. Yeah. Are the other two actresses in it. And I was not familiar with them. I see that they're in another movie. I, 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 who cares? Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't I don't know who they were, but I know I fell in love with all three of them. And, and I was like, it, this was not a movie that belonged to one actress. This is a movie that belonged to all three of those actors. It's just a, it's just a It's such a pleasant surprise, and it's so much fun, and you just feel great at the end of this movie. I mean, you just you just have had, uh, to me, I, it was like, wow, I did not see this coming. I wanted to watch it for a specific reason, and she was great. She was, she was absolutely great, as were they all. Everybody in the movie is just perfectly cast. The priest in the beginning of it, he's perfect, too. The, uh, the, the, uh, The the, 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 the the well the woman who has a part that becomes something other than what you think it's going to be uh she's she's perfect too there's a kid in it who's wonderful uh i mean I, i got nothing to say but just great things about this movie and i think anybody who sees this is really going to love it yeah i agree with you i it was like two separate movies going on at the same time the women the the detectives it, okay the um I watched this movie twice. The I first did too. This night I watched it. I watched it again right okay. after I watched it. So I watched it first in Spanish. 
And then I, I did the exact same thing. And then I watched it in English. And actually, the dubbing was so good that the English was actually, for a change, more. Uh, uh, it, it 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 revealed more to me, uh-huh. right? So it, it was excellent. Patty noticed the actress that we had just seen Septimo, right? And and she was like, "I know that, I know that lady, we, I know that lady." <laughs> and and she was like, and she said it, and I looked. I was like. I think you're right. right? <laughs> so um, it, apparently uh, this is based on a true story. Yeah. Uh, and the real group, the Hepta group, there's these three ladies that started it. And that father Pion mm-hmm. is Pion, also yeah. actually really the head of it. I mean, they, he he's playing, uh, uh, that's played by Emilia Guterres Caba is the head of the group. Um, he, <laughs> He gets involved with these, he's involved with these three women, Segrano by Belen Ruida, Paz, that's uh, Gracia Oleo, Oleo, and Gloria, Tony Acosta. They compare it to Ghostbusters, but I compare it to Scooby-Doo for my, for adults. <laughs> because I, I agree with both of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah actually. I, 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 it's kind of like... Um, they almost had a mystery machine, too. <laughs> okay, the, this, the, the mystery machine. Yeah, because, that van. Because, van, exactly. because there's this serious understory going on that's actually this really kind of terrifying horror story. Yeah. And there's these guys... Who constantly? They're so Spanish. They, they're yeah. Yeah, so it. They like it. It could be an Italian, but they. They're Bringing like, about one of the big scares in the yeah. movie to me. <laughs> no, mm. I loved it. I loved it. They were chain smoking. They were going to the bars. They were drinking. They were like they were great. I was like, this needs to be a series. These women <laughs> yeah, are. are, are really this do, is yeah. a a Ghostbuster series. These women are so amazing. I love them. It was like the first time in Spanish. I because I had to follow the thing. There's also a young man in it too, who's a, like a, a physicist. Yeah. But yeah. actually, remember, this is a kind of a real story, which is kind of funny. And really, right at the end, there's kind of a fast shot of these three old ladies walking, oh. and, and, it, mm-hmm. and I believe it is. Yeah, because this takes place, I think, in, in 2001, the story mm-hmm. itself. I, I believe, and I think mm-hmm. one of those ladies is dead. Yeah, but, I, it's dedicated to her. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was like, it is so worth seeing this movie. I would say if you're English, watch it with the translation. The translation, the the They did a good job, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It, it, and then there's this really young guy who's the physicist, so it's like a, a scientific slash uh, religious detective mystery. So good. Loved it. Yes, and see, that's why I actually enjoy it. The fact that they said, no, we still have to have a science person there to yes. make sure that mm-hmm. there's this is not something that's just <laughs> happening. This is actually supernatural. So you're right. Um well, she's saving the woman. She's still smoking. <laughs> that was well, great. See, it's funny that you brought that up because that's what so- I noticed. I had such a desire just to light up a cigarette with them because <laughs> exactly. it's like, oh my God, I forgot. This is a certain time period where yes. it's like, yeah, it's yes. certainly acceptable. <sighs> but yeah, they're all chain smoking. In fact, they're actually amazed that the the young physicist says, oh, cigarette? Like, <laughs> don't you want a cigarette? We all just like, <laughs> yeah. But, and it's so true because yeah, the only sort of male characters is one, the padre, and yeah, and then the physicist, but, but then also the, the, the married couple that, that they have to go and investigate with. That has this but I agree with Bob that the one thing that really so because I just thought, oh, this is entertaining. It's fun. It's entertaining. Then certain things happen. I said, wow, that was genuinely creepy. Yeah. I mean, really creepy. There are a couple of scenes and they had to do with more or less possession kind of scenes. It's like, Wow, this is taking me back. This is not funny anymore. There's something very weird going on that I is disturbing that. me. Yeah, I was so on I the just edge really, of my seat. Yes, exactly. Times. And that's what that's the moment that I realized this is something beyond just a a supernatural story. Because you're right, the fact that it's based on a true story about this hepta group, right? And this actual and this, situation exactly. is a true story. Well, see, that's what I didn't understand if that was the case. But yes. I really almost wish they had the physicist there, 
the young kid. I guess that was Antonio Pagudo playing Camarodo Jesus. I just only because what I like about what they said is like, no, you can't be here. Basically tell him, no, it's too dangerous They're for you now. Him. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which is, I thought, see, still that sort of maternal kind of thing these three women have, even despite the fact that none of them have kids, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> none of them have a relationship. Yeah. It's the one who sort of wants a relationship. And that's what I loved about that Tony Acosta character. She's because so good. she, to me, is the standout. Even though- is she, you know, the, the, is she the photographer or the clairvoyant? No, no. She's the clairvoyant. Yeah, clairvoyant. Right. And yet, what Bob's saying is so true because all three characters are so distinctive. Because I admire the uh, the Oleo character, Paz. Yes. The fact that she's the nonsensical. In fact, she's the one who says, oh, I don't do much. I just record everything. And yet, <laughs> how important it is to them, right? And and uh, Sigario, I think, is the main yeah. character. Though, as, as I see her, they're all three the main, the main characters. Only because the fact that she's the one who has the relationship with the Padre and yes. this and that, and she's got to convince Gloria. No, no, you have to do this. And she even knows when Gloria, there's something wrong with her. It's like, no, you weren't, you weren't doing everything right. I like the fact that she was almost like the leader. So in a way, it's like, but yet. It was the Gloria character that was so fascinating to me because, like, you could see it's like, okay, she just is like dismissing things because she wants to go on a date. Yeah. Oh, that and is I so love, funny. and that's what I mean. This is the human, the when human it, part of it. Right? When it starts and she's on that date. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my well, God. Oh, yeah. And not even real, a real date. It's like one of these sort of like matchup kind of yeah. dates, right? That she has to do online because she said, <laughs> I want to do something before we die. And one of them is getting married, right? So it's like, you can see what their their personalities are bringing into them. I really just enjoy this movie. I highly recommend it because not only was it entertaining as a horror film, I thought there were creepy scenes. Mm-hmm. This sort of had almost everything that just I really enjoy in a movie. Because like I said, if you have humor in a movie, you're going to catch me. Had- but from beginning to end, the way it was going, everything, and even with the Pondre, because it does get very serious at one point towards the ending, because you're thinking, oh, what's going to happen now? And that's what kept me in suspense. And see, unlike The Soft and Quiet, this is keeping me now in a suspense, because I thought it was sort of unpredictable. What's going to happen? I have a feeling, I, I hope, oh, my hopefulness of what's going to happen you know, comes into fruition, but it's like, wow, this was just from beginning to end, one of these odd movies. And again, I would never have watched this movie. But I'm saying- And just so you know, it was from Spain. It wasn't Argentinian. Yeah. Yeah. It was was a Spanish- Because remember, she was the Spanish, she was the Spanish (laughs) wife of the guy from Septimo. But let me just Mm. say that without hitting you over the head, this was a strong woman movie. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, that's the thing. I didn't even think of in terms of male and female. That's what I'm saying. Who are the male characters? That's like what I'm said, saying. You have and, a priest, they, a husband. This is what I'm pointing out: the roles that men or fe- females yeah, play. Yeah, but they're total so in, respect of, right. uh, of all the characters. The yeah. men were not degraded at and the all. Reason, no, the reason no. was because they presented them as they were and, and didn't make an issue right. about what they are. Right. Right. They didn't tell you we're doing this. Because right. to be quite honest, uh, Padre Pallone is really one of the most important characters in the movie. Right. And when you watch the entire movie, you understand what I'm saying, but it's just like sort of fascinating. But it's basically it's, a woman movie. But the bad no. guys, the good guys, well, the victims, a, they're all well, women. That's it's, a good, thing, it's a woman's movie that men will love. Well, yeah. that's the thing that made me laugh because of the way even the women have the conflicting opinions about what to do and what's going on. But I that just, they have to really yes, I, you don't come have together. to hit people over the head with shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to hit people over the mm-hmm. head. It's yeah. kind of like. Yeah. Unless you're a caveman. It, it's by accident. It's by mm-hmm. accident. Mm-hmm. A strong woman movie. And well, they never the get into that. I, I just, see, that's why I said I don't even see it as a strong woman no, movie. Because exactly. I literally just see mm-hmm. this as this movie where yeah. these women are just like, they're, they're, you can see individually, individually their, their own characters and how important they are. Mm-hmm. It's how they start interacting and how much they really, truly care for one another. And to be quite honest, how they care for Padre Pallone too, that he's really part of that group. Absolutely. Because he's the one who sort of brought the group together. Yeah. And he's the one who can't understand, oh, why isn't so-and-so here, right? At meetings, I thought, 
oh, that's telling right there because he knows. And what's weird, though, is that they're referred to as witches. And I always crack up because there's always that thing with witches in three. You know, I don't know <laughs> if you ever heard that, right? Well, sure. The whole thing about Beth. Okay. Yeah. Well, not only that, but the crone, the what is it? The crone, the something, and the maiden. So sure. there's always a younger yes. one, a, a, yeah. a, a housewife yes. one, and then the old yeah. one. But it's right? the, yeah. the image of the goddess. Okay. It, yeah. It's okay. the three images of the goddess. Okay. The goddess is the the maiden, the mother, the padre, and then the, the crone. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Patty. Go ahead, Patty. <laughs> oh, this movie. Okay. You know, I, I really like this movie because of the women. That oh, was it, like yeah. you all said. They were great. <laughs> They're fantastic. And, and I, I really didn't like the story uh, that I much. Want a <laughs> yeah. I didn't like the story too much. It, it, it didn't matter one way or the other, but the strength of the women's friendship and how they depicted mediums, Good point. astrologers, psychics, that's really much more the norm than how TV or entertainment shows them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And just the friendship of the women, it was very real. I agree. Yeah, I so, totally agree. Good yeah. point. But the story, nah, the story didn't grab me. You know, oh, I, really? I didn't find it suspenseful, no. Oh, interesting. No. She watches <laughs> Bloom House. <laughs> but because of the women, and Susie, you're right. <laughs> a real story would not be that. Now, out of curiosity, did you find it at all creepy or frightening? You didn't find any scares no. in it? Really? No. Oh, no. Wow. Well, I didn't find it creepy or frightening, but there were things that made me jump out of my seat. It was, well, know, that's what I mean by creepy. I mean, yeah. creepy does make you jump out of your seat. But to oh, me, it, there it, were it, generally, it's like, wow, I just stepped away and said, that's scary, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it was like, uh, yeah, there was, uh, yeah. like was when she's more, being chased through the apartment, that was pretty I, scary. I, I think the child incident mm -hmm. was quite um, uh, disturbing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, and then the mother who was possessed. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's the thing. That's why I found the possession scenes actually rather creepy yeah. because all of a sudden, like I said, it's light and funny, and all of a sudden these happen. It's like, Oh, okay. But this, this, really, but this yeah. really happened. Well, no, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't know. I mean, it, well, it, apparently it really yeah, happened. Yeah. According to them, it really yeah, happened. Yeah, I mean, this is a version of what happened, but I mean, uh, well, I don't want to get into stuff because it gives some things away. But. Okay, you know something I don't? Yeah. George? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, first of all, I thought, uh, I thought that. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I thought that. <laughs> I was pouring my sake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that Jennifer Connelly was great. Oh, different, <laughs> different phenomena. Sorry. <laughs> but did she kick ass? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I really enjoyed it too. I really liked the characters. They, they're really tough. And actually, the whole cigarette thing was really cracking me up. Oh, that like was this so one great. That's when she comes out of the place. I guess you buy cigarettes in like a, like a stand. And yeah. she's got a like a roll this big <laughs> exactly. kind of stuff in her bag. <laughs> and you see, like, the, there's another scene where the other one, she sees a cigarette, she grabs a cigarette too. And, and then there's a scene where they're in the van with the young guy. The, the guy he's and they open the, the window. window. <laughs> it's just full of smoke. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just coughing up and he's just yeah. smoke. The whole thing is. Mm -hmm. So that was, I went from, you know, laughing out loud, cracking up to then hiding under the van. Because <laughs> he had some, a lot of jump scares. He went from being really funny. To actually quite being serious and and, and have given you some uh, jump scares, mm -hmm. so that was a uh, but it was very entertaining. The uh, it reminded me of the hunting a little bit. The whole thing where they got that one guy that's uh, yeah, like the scientist. Yes, yeah. a lot of the noises in the room. Like I thought, that some of the scenes that were was like excellent. The actually, the sound and everything because mm -hmm. I yeah. again was listening to the earphones, and you're right. The fact that that's why I said the possession scenes I thought were creepy because you hear these sounds in the background. All of a sudden, it comes in the foreground. It's like. Wow, they did a really good job technically. Yeah, and and, yeah. and it did feel like there was two separate stories going on there too. Like I was watching two different movies yes. too. Yeah, I agree. So actually, that was that yeah. was really good. But I'm like, why isn't this a series? <laughs> These well, women well, have I, such I, great I, I, chemistry. I would want to see. Together. I would rather see a sequel than see it as a series. I mean, it's. it's I'm it's, okay with that too. Yeah. There was, there was also, one thing in it. Oh, are you? Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, there's one thing in it that maybe you guys can can uh, explain to me. The three of them are together in the bar at one point. And yes. when, when Bella and Rueda sits down, somebody scrapes her and she goes, what was that in response to? I think it was, I don't know, but I think it, I, you're right. I, I, I don't know. 
I, I think yeah. that they actually. I think said they something. were maybe so freaked out by their experience. Well, but she, she, it seemed there. to be that she was reacting to something that had just happened right there, and I was like, "Wow, did you see what that person did?" Or "Wow, do you see who that is?" Oh, or something like that. I ha- actually, that I thought it was a sexual thing. That it was a man, you know, who did something to oh, them. Oh, okay. And because of um, uh, the Gloria character. Oh no! Like, yeah, that that makes sense. Know, okay, well, because yeah. it was wow. It's kind of like this. This guy's hot. Yeah, wow. yeah that's what hot. I think it was. Yeah, but then yeah, I, did, yeah I, I didn't see that it was a man. Uh, okay. It was, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Thanks. and they they were they they could carry anything. They were like so great. You know, that's a series yeah. that we watched, which uh, um, a British series, a de- detective series, where it's this young girl, probably her twenties or maybe, and she has three aunts. Oh, it's fantastic. It's called, I forgot what it's called, but the ants are funny because the ants are, one is blonde, one is brunette, and one is redhead, which was like the three ladies too. One was blonde, one was a brunette, one was a, one was a redhead. Knows that. And they, but the ants. And this is their niece. Yeah, their niece. She's, yeah. A, she's, she's, a, she's a cop. A, she's a cop. But she solves crimes. But they're, the one is like, a, they're, they're all like, a, one is a mystery writer and one is a music, former musician. But they always help her solve. They the always contribute something. Yeah, to yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and, and she's always got to kind of like. And a lot of times she oh. does that once, <laughs> and a lot of times they're solving the crime for her. So and this reminded me of that that show. I go, this would have oh. be a great series like that show too, like like she said, where they uh, they have the three aunts, you know. Come because her mother, the her story is. I forgot that, what it's called. Okay, the story is that the mother died, and that's the mystery because nobody knows what happened oh, to the mother. How she died, and she had the three aunts brought her up. Ah. Okay, and, I want to hear about this, but not what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but, but you know, like, but it has that feel. I, I really get yeah, that. It was like, that it, other than this underlying true story that was going on, which was kind of really heavy, their story was so light, funny, and their constant chain smoking right. actually added to, yeah. to like the character. Right? Yeah. Yeah. When you see that real people walking, you know, I guess that was a spoiler at the end. You mm-hmm. see the actual real people. I was walking. so surprised it was go, 2023. That would, be, that would be a great, yeah. That would be a great, you know, sitting down at a, at a, at a cafe with them and having a conversation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. Yeah. <gasps> Can we have a conversation with you? We would, <laughs> we would love that to find out <laughs> of what was going on there. We love this movie. Mm. Okay, so are we ready to? Um, right. Did yes, everybody say you. their piece? Yeah. Yeah. Did you say that's, everything you wanted to say, Patty? Way no. down there. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No, no, she's saying that she's done. She has oh, no more okay. to say. Okay, okay. It's the so computer. that was uh, you rate it. I your, your first Bob first. Yeah. I give it a ten. I loved it. I gave this a seven. Oh, I gave oh, it a seven. <laughs> he gave it a seven. <laughs> Patty faint. Huh? Seven. He gave it a seven. <laughs> I, I gave it a seven. I know you give it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So I, I enjoyed it. I, I gave it a nine. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to break a rule. Ten. I can't not say how great Please, ladies, please, they ladies, make a sequel or make a yeah, series. Yeah, make a sequel. Yeah, right. yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So who will be back? Okay. <laughs> so that's a wrap. Thank you for watching this episode of What the Flicks podcast. I hope you'll check out some of the movies we suggested because a lot of them are really good and we would love to hear your comments. Um, Remember to subscribe, like us, and leave a comment. So until next time, adios.